Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. It's been a long time that I haven't uploaded any videos. It's because I was involved in some projects and I had to complete it. Now that I have completed the project, I can record and upload videos. So in today's video, we'll be looking at three new things that are added to Laravel version 9.46.0. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this when has to the JSON resource. So here, if I show you here in the database, I have this user one which doesn't have this email verified at which means that it is null now let me show you about this when has this is the new thing that has been added we also have this when not null but this is a little bit different so here when not null if this value is present then it will return the value of this thing okay and this key will be present in the actual output but regarding this if this email verified at this key is present in the past user model then only it will show and it will return this value and we can pass a closure over here as well so let me show you here in the example in the home controller here i have selected id and name from the first user and here i am returning the user resource now if i come here and refresh the page you can see here i can see id and name only i will not be able to see this both this and this okay but let's say if i pass here email verified at now that email verified at is present on the user model so this should be visible but this will not be visible because this email verified is false value which is a null value so if it is false then this key will be removed from the resulting json and this will still be present even though it has value null because this key is present on this user model so here if i come and refresh then you can see here email verified at when has is null but still present on the response json but we have a user too which has email verified at so there is a value for this user now if i come here and refresh the page then we can see here both are present so this is the difference between this where has and the where not null and this feature has been contributed by if you see here michael now let us move to the second thing which is also related to the json resource and it is also contributed by michael the same person and there is this new onless method added to the json resource previously there was when method and now there is onless method which is the opposite of when so if i show you here when will just show this parameter if this is present and onless will show this key or param if this is not present okay so now if i just go over here and refresh the page then you can see here visible if present the user 2 has this value so visible is present is available but let's do this for the user 1 which doesn't have email verified at and now we can see here visible if not present is available now let us move to the third and the final thing which has been actually fixed in this version is that we can now add this signed property like this minus or plus on this decimal validation rule previously on the earlier versions of laravel i think 9.45.0 the decimal validation range was added if i show you that over here let me comment this out and here if we write here minus or plus then also this validation decimal validation will work so if i just run it then it will return true because it has exactly two decimal places over here and if i just pass it over here like this then also it will return true it will work for both the decimal numbers with the sign or without sign but in the earlier version of laravel it only worked for the normal numbers but not the signed numbers 